Hey, what's Adam Fox? Text about now one here back as a month fifteen, and we have a new set, new promo in the game right now that is not live. We'll be live very, very soon. So if you guys are not playing this game, you might want to log on today to receive your NFL badge collectible and also play the Soul Challenge that rewards a Team Legend collectible. And it's kind of cool because this set is very reminiscent to the NFL Draft promo set with the rookies, where you had to collect a team badge collectible along with badges to get that player that for that desired team you wanted so it's kind of cool because this one has a bigger reward in a 9 and overall legend and it doesn't look like the set's gonna require too much I don't, i'm not too sure like i may be wrong about that like it may require like 15 badges plus five of course the five team collectibles but maybe it's like five and five which makes it even more plausible to do so you got the Chiefs, Legend, Bucks, Redskins, Cardinals, Raiders, Bears, and you got, of course, the 4th of July Master Set. Just taking a guess. Very probably going to be, I don't know who the Raiders are going to be. We got Blitnikoff all late in the year, so I'm not too sure who the Raiders are going to be, but like maybe Kurt Warner once again. So this is kind of cool what we're doing right there. And then you also happen to have the 4th of July Master Set, which uh, is going to give you 85 overall elite player that will transfer over into Madden 16 Ultimate Team. So you can pretty much knock this set off. You guys knock out all these sets. And it's not going to give you a huge reward, but let's just say you can go ahead and auction off Jared Allen first day of Madden 16 if he's going to be auctionable or tradable. You can probably make a quick amount of coins. So this set in this promo does seem to be worth to like worth it to knock out, even though you might spend a bunch of coins doing it. Nine and overall legend will have some value in this game, especially even though well it, it's not gonna be as bad as the uh Jamal Charles and the uh Earl Thomas coming out in October. I mean not October in, in August. It's not gonna be that terrible, but these cards will still have value but being in the middle of the summer, so you can probably make coins back by knocking these sets out. And as of right now, these are collectibles are pretty easy to get off the auction block and pretty easy to get out of Pro Pack. So if you guys are undecided about these sets, if you guys got the coins, I would say knock them out because it's gonna be it's gonna give you something over a man sixteen that you can actually use. Like I, I, the loyalty rewards usually aren't that great, but at least you're getting an elite card that will help your team out day one. If you can't sell it, it's going to suck. But if you guys can sell it, think about it. If you guys can sell it, that card is going to be going for a lot. Here's what the badge collectibles look like. As you guys can see, these things are available in pro packs and also in solo challenge packs that they deem worthy. If you log in every single day, you get the independence badge but these things are something you have to pull out of pro packs i would assume i pulled pro packs earlier and didn't pull one so i'm not too sure how rare these bad boys are but i did pull a bunch of independence badges to the point where i can knock out that coach set and the coaches right now on the auction block i should have showed you guys but they're ranging in price from fifteen thousand coins to thirty thousand coins and the price will probably continue to drop on that because not many people are going to be knocking out those uh hard sets at the moment because they can't they can't be done till the first anyway so uh, let's go ahead and show you what the badge collector looks like. So let's see what the badge collector looks like. And yeah, got all the pack opening pretty easy. I pulled, I think, three earlier uh, with Taiwan Branch as well. And here is the team collector I got for the Cardinals. So this is going to be fun. This is going to be very fun because it gives us another excuse to pull packs. Uh, I hate pulling packs. There's nothing in packs to pull. And even though I keep pulling some of good elites, I'd rather have something else to, I can I can do over in Madden 16 with. So I'll go ahead and pull some packs right now. This video is kind of all over the place. And if you guys did not get what I was saying, I'll put the blog post in my description below for those that want to read what's going on with this and read it. So let's go ahead and get right into these pro packs and see how common and how uncommon these things are. And as you guys and see right there right the bat i pulled that collectible so that's pretty cool i'm gonna try to stock up as many as possible because i do not want to get screwed because typically what they do is the first day these things are easy to pull and then the second day these things are like getting progressively harder to pull so i think as of right now today is going to be the best day to go ahead and try to get these bad boys stocked up and loaded up so i'm gonna go ahead and get these packs and quick sell all these cards Okay, we got an independence badge right there. We also got Nate Burles, who's like 5,000 coins. And if Nick Roach is in the trophy set for that Barry Sanders, man, he might be going for like 50,000 coins. That was not a bad pack whatsoever. Pull about like five more packs, maybe. See, we got of these. We get a Red Brian right there. And we also happen to have another independence badge. So these things are fairly easy to get. And I, I'm not going to complain about it. I, I'm going to keep pulling packs until I, I run out of room. Like until I run out of room because this is what I want to do right now. I got to get these... Uh, these, these silver and bronze cards for those sets, and I got to continually try to get those badges because I have a feeling that it's not going to be as easy as I think it is to get those uh, sets knocked out. Like, I feel like it's going to be like 30 of those badges. Like, I feel like Madden's going to troll us. And right there, we get a Darren Coolidge. Is he? What sets he in? What sets he in? Ah, 
uh, left guard and O line. I thought he was in like the trophy set as well. Okay, so all right, whatever. That pack wasn't terrible. We got a middle linebacker and Brian Cushing, and we also happen to get a badge. Made some room in my reserves right quick to keep pulling some packs, and right there once again another badge. Haven't pulled two of these in one pack yet. I don't know if that's possible, but I would not be shocked if I've seen a lot of pictures of that happening later on today. And right there we get a Steven Tillich as well. So not a bad pack. Another badge. It doesn't have any value right now, but it will have value when I knock out that set for that 9 and overall Chiefs legend, which means right now after this video, I'm going to go to the auction block and stock up all them collectibles just because I think the price might rise if the legend is somebody that everybody wants to have. Yo, these badges are coming out of packs, and I want to keep pulling for them because I know they're going to be harder to get as the weeks progress, but I'm about to run out of room, man. I'm about to run out of room my reserves. I can quick sell some punters and stuff, which I might end up doing. I might end up doing that because I want to keep pulling packs. Feels like I'm just wasting coins right now. I don't care, though. Like, I got all these coins and nothing to do with, so I might as well pull packs, right? Another badge right there. I'm pulling so many of those things, not even elite cards right now. <laughs> Logan Thomas can go get quick, so this can get quick, so go hold on to Frank Curse. Chip Kelly got to go. Shane Ring got to go, too. Let's continue this, man. Let's continue. Another badge. Like, whoa. What is going on right now? Making more room for badges right now. We get a Melvin Ingram right there. You also get another badge as well in that pack. So it doesn't seem like it's possible to pull. Like, it doesn't seem like it is possible to pull the team badges out of these pro packs. Now, you guys may be in the comment section below saying I pulled a bunch, but I pulled a bunch of independence badges out of these packs, but I have not pulled a specific team badge out of these packs. So I think it might be in my best interest to go to the auction block and stock up on the ones that I need for those sets because those ones might be the ones becoming rare. Come on, a couple more independence badges, baby. A couple more, one more right there. That pack, we got an elite Jason Witten. I feel like I have never pulled that card ever. Like, I feel like that card is one card I have never pulled in this game. I'll take it with his slow-ass speed. We are down to our last and final pro pack of the video. Can we get the last independence badge out of this pack? John Simon. Where's that red flash? All right, so it's not in that last pack. So right now I have 18 independence badges and I have one legend collectible. So damn, man, this is going to be tough. Like, this is going to be tough because I do not think it's just going to be five badges. So that means I need to keep pulling packs to keep going ahead and getting those collectibles. So hmm, it'll get done. I'm doing that master set. So don't worry about me over here. I'm going to get those things knocked out. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comment section below. I'm the Texas boy, and also, let me know if you guys pulled any of these Team Legendary collectibles out of Pro Packs, because that seems to be very, 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 very tough to do, and I swear, if they come out with a pack that guarantees you, or a bundle topper that guarantees you like 15 of these bad, well, I'm kind of annoyed, just because I hate those awful toppers. These cards have no value outside of those sets, and it's dumb. So hopefully these sets aren't going to be too tough, and I think that I'm finally done rambling. Peace.